Hello, I'm Fai Matamni. Originally, I qualified at Frankfurt am Main University, Germany, where I also received my PhD and certificate of specialty in oral surgery. Currently, I manage group practices limited for oral surgery and implantology, both in Germany and Israel. In the last decade, my major field of research deals mainly with sinus augmentation and alternative methods. I conduct and am involved in many clinical studies. I am also the author of the book Lateral Wall Sinus Flow Augmentation State of the Art, which will be published in the near future. During my career, now spanning nearly 30 years, I have seen great surgeries and bad surgeries come in my office. And there's no doubt that the general practitioners nowadays are directly involved in sinus augmentation procedures because patients usually desire to stay in the GP's office when it's possible for their care. And these are a growing problem due to the increase of treating patients with this kind of reconstructive surgery. This is probably due to the lack of training or inadequate training for performing this delicate surgery, as well as the ignorance of the anatomy and pathology of the maxillary sinuses. As an oral surgeon with more than 20 years experience of sinus crafting, I would like to share with you my insight, knowledge and expertise in sinus crafting. We will also consider the latest protocols and existing research and applications for sinus crafting. In my lecture, these topics will be comprehensively discussed and clearly illustrated in order to aid avoiding pitfalls and complications associated with this surgery. We all know that any surgical intervention could lead to complications and it's not unusual to run into complications. Pitfalls and complications of sinus crafting are vital and often neglected areas of implant surgery. The highlights of my lecture will be concentrated on the preoperative stage, preoperative pitfalls including anatomical and structural alterations, besides pathological findings of many cases, and we will see Cases with difficulties due to the presence of arteries or complicated septic. It's important to consider the whole clinical context when interpreting abnormalities or pathologies. The major fundamental anatomical and pathological sinus augmentation elements will be comprehensively also discussed. Challenges associated with re-entry sinus augmentation procedures will be also identified. And finally, we will propose ways how to aid avoiding pitfalls and to minimize complications. Thank you very much.